Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my Iron Man series. Today I think we're going to tackle some more quests. So today we want to start off with a Vampire Slayer. Get ourselves some lovely combat XP which we've got to put in straight away probably and do magic. So yeah let's go do that. Let's go do this quest. Hardest quest boss ever. A Vampire Slayer complete lovely lamp we shall use on magic. 56 magic, awesome, getting close to 60 which we need for um, Gothic Staff and Cape at the Mage Arena which would be a, quite a nice upgrade. So yeah, onwards to more quests. Right, I think next we're probably going to do Fairy Tale Part 1. Try and get access to the Fairy Rings if we complete this and start Path 2, um, Part 2 even. So yeah, let's do this one. For the fairy tale, we need to get the enchanted secateurs, the magic secateurs, and our items are an Avento herb, irrit leaf, and blue dragon scale, which didn't actually seem too hard, I'm not gonna lie. I think I remember an altar, I had to get a diamond, which was a pain. Hey, here we go with the irrit. Didn't actually take too long. So now I feel to Nada to pay the 200 GP to clean the Avento. So yeah, let's go do that, and then get the magical secateurs. So that is the clean Avento obtained, so now we just need to get the blue dragon scale from the Tavali dungeon. I think it's probably pretty good if I was wrong. I know. I'm so ill, I'm sorry. Yeah, we've got ourselves our blue dragon scales, but while we're here we may as well just get ourselves the rest of them. Fuck, I don't want to do that. Oh well. But yeah, let's grab a few while I'm here just so for later on. A magical secateurs obtained. Awesome. Now I wonder how hard this is actually gonna be, because my farming level is it's 30 cents, it's not actually too bad, but my melee yeah. Maybe can actually kill it, hopefully. Okay, yeah, this was very easy. <sighs> not gonna lie. Very easy. So there we do. Fairy tale part one has been completed. Ooh, so 47 farming, 47 farming, 47 attack, 38 farming, them gains. So lame, they made it so you actually need the requirement to start the quest. That's actual, that's so crap. We can't do that quest. I think we're going to do the darkness in Hallowale. Hallowale quest. Just to get out of the way. I know it's a really long quest and... If I don't do it now, I'm probably never going to do it, even though we need it for Sunspear, eventually. So that is Darkness of Hallowail complete, took about an hour and a half. So honestly it was not too bad, because I was 51 thieving, and obviously these XP lamps. Herbal? Nice, always in Herbal. ourselves 44 herbal which really isn't a lot but better than it was before okay to get ourselves the legacy of seagate's quest we actually need to get ourselves one more crafting level so uh back to the flex fields 47 crafting we have all the levels we need for the legacy of the seagates which we're going to go do i think we need to get ourselves a teak or higher pylog so we'll go do that and then yeah, fun times questing. Alright, so I managed to get myself a lot of sacred oil, but I need 50 fire making to make the maple pile log. So, uh, yeah, good job I have loads of oak logs, which I'll go burn now uh, for level 50. So, we are now 50 fire making. Boom. So, we can finally make ourselves. Oh, what have we got? Tears of Treasure, Lunar Diplomacy. Now do Tears of Gothics, Summer's End, from 47. But yeah, we can now make the uh, Maple Pylog for the quest, and we can continue on. Hey, so we've got 45 prayer doing this quest. We've got ourselves the Ornate Tomb Key, and obviously we've got to open this one. To get ourselves the lovely Blood Talisman. 
Ooh, Trezzle, what are you doing? Trezzle. Uh... So we've completed the legacy of Sega's quest for called the GCXP. 100 quest points total as well. 35 Slayer. Still not done a single Slayer task. We actually like, ooh. We can finally do Smoke and Kills as well, which is what I wanted to do before we actually start doing Slayer, which is great. Um, let's use this Tome on Herblore as usual. Because low level Herblore sucks balls. Boom, and 45 Herblore. One of the quiet for Legends Quest, which we'll probably eventually do. It turns out we actually have to do Ick Florin's Little Helper first. Ugh, come on. So that's a little helper complete. Lovely juicy skilling XP and a lovely Casper Gamble, which we needed for the Smoking Kills quest, which we'll go do now. Change my mind on doing Smoking Kills. We don't really have the um, combat to deal with some of the bosses like the Mighty Banshee, because we only have 13 range. So yeah, let's uh, do something else. And also look at this noob right here. And this noob. And this noob. Right, I think we're probably going to do the dig site quest because look at this juicy XP reward right here. Also got some lovely abilities as well. That mining XP though, god damn. <laughs> so for a while I was in the museum, I'd hand in some of the stuff and get some lovely lamps. Chuck these all into herb law. Any level? A hey, 46 herb law. Vile of stench, lovely. So we're about to finish the dig site quest. We could just quickly just talk to the archaeological expert. Oh, I'm gonna use this on him. In your own time game. In your own time game. There we go. Seventeen thousand total XP. A lovely, a lovely, a lovely herbal XP. Fifty mining in. God damn. One of the requirements of Hero's Quest, which is pretty good, pretty good. I think it's best to start training our range up a bit, this super good gear. I'm looking at this. Maybe we should do Monkey Madness. It shouldn't be too hard to do. It's very low requirements in terms of like gear. So yeah, we have the protection prayers. So I think we should be alright with doing Monkey Madness. So we've got ourselves 20 range, which I think should be enough for now. And we've got to go try and complete the Monkey Madness quest, which I don't think should be too hard since most quest bosses are pretty easy. So the jungle demon is about to be annihilated. Don't splash. Hey, there we go. Let's talk to this guy. And claim our quest rewards. Hey, so we just finished the Monkey Madness quest. 10,000 gold, 3 diamonds. Best quest reward ever. Now but thrill. The best rewards. Royal training. What we want is... Oh, shit, I don't actually know which one we want. Um, I think maybe attack and defense, actually. As the main one. Your strength really doesn't do that much anymore in this game. Or at least not as much as attack and defense do. Seven hours later. Boom, so we're now 47 strength, 59 constitution, 50 attack, and 49 defense. So we can now use fucking Addy and Rune weaponry, which is great. I also have all the level levels for Top Zip Kek, Ket Dill. God damn. 49 hit points, 49, 47 strength. We can actually use the chosen commander as well. That's actually brilliant. That's crazy. It's really weird. But so yeah, we're just gonna do some more quests. Let's do the Ernest the Chicken one. I'm surprised we're not doing it yet. But yeah, let's get that knocked out pretty, pretty soon. So that's the Ernest the Chicken quest completed. Uh, yeah, not really much to say about that, but about time we did it, I guess. I think now we're probably going to do the Ghost Ahoy quest. You guys have the extra file. Nice one, cl um, one click panic telly. So yeah, let's gather the stuff we need. Ooh. 
Spooky. Hey, so we're about to finish the Ghost Hoy quest. Lovely Ectophile 2400 Prayer XP. Let's get another Ectophile. Boom. Such a good teleport. Emergency one click. So, to do the Animal Magnetism quest, we need to get ourselves some polished buttons. Which means we've got to grind out some hand members. And while I'm here, I'm going to get two full sets. Because obviously we need two sets for the ham quest. At the minute we do only have the four pieces. And no buttons yet, which is kind of strange. Wish us luck. Hey, we managed to get ourselves two lots of buttons and a easy clip at the same time. But I'm just going to stay here until we get the two full sets. While I still have the motivation to get it. Oh my god, finally. It took so long to try and get two full sets of ham robes. Jesus. So we have quite a lot of TG tokens on sale. 81,000 TG tokens. So, fuck it. We're going to buy a Bone Crusher. Which will help very much for low level training. So at the minute I'm training my range of goblins. And this is just extra prior XP I would get. So yeah, awesome. I've just realised... We can get Reaper Tass now. Holy shit. Time to leech, motherfucker. So we've got ourselves a lovely Grim Gem. First assignment is... Bar Barrows. No, no thank you. Cowboy Queen. <laughs> oh my god, actually. Oh, no. Why are you doing this to me? Chaos Elemental, fine. So, we are now level 30 range. God damn. So, we now have all the levels we need for Animal Magnetism, Big Chompy Bird Hunter, which we go do, do both those quests. We can also wear our snake skin boots to do the um, medium clue scroll, and I've got to go make some carapace armor because we can actually use that now. So it turns out I didn't actually need to kill any. I had a load of carapace in my bank as it stood. Oh, I need thread. Oops. So there we go. Finally got ourselves our range armor upgrade. And obviously we do not need the boots because we have the snake skin. Snake skin boots, which I think are probably, I think they're exactly the same. So it's all tier 30. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Daddy crossbow. <laughs> Medium press star. Okay. Um, thanks. Alright, so we have all the stuff we need for animal magnetism. So let's go do the quest now. Eee, so there is a animal magnetism quest complete. Lovely. Probably our best range cape now. The tractor. How do we get the alerter, the accumulator? I'm not skilled enough, that's fine. But yeah, awesome. So I'm going to end the episode off here. We've done quite a lot of stuff done. We've got ourselves monkey madness done, animal magnetism. We've got ourselves 30 range, we've got the lovely carapace armor upgrade. And obviously can use the maple short bow. Which is a lot better than our like level 13 gear we were using before. I think we were just using the charge bow because we were that, that amazing. So yeah, done. thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed the progress. Sorry there's some audio fuck-ups. Uh, I've been ill the last few days and it sort of affected the recordings a little bit. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please click the links in the description. I stream on Twitch sometimes. I will start again soon in the new year. Uh, follow me on Twitter as well if you're interested in what I'm doing on my main. Just follow me on Twitter. I'll post a lot of shit there. Demonetized. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.